Hello again. Today we are going to learn about highest common factor and least common multiple. They are also called HCF and LCM. Let's see how we can find HCF and LCM of given numbers. We'll start with highest common factor. Highest common factor. There are three methods to find HCF of given numbers. First method is called the factor method. The second method is called the prime factor method. And the third method is called the long division method. Let's look at each of these methods. Let's start with the factor method. Factor method. Here's an example. Find the HCF is highest common factor of 24 and 16. In this method, the first thing we have to do is to list the factors of 24. Factors of 24. We've seen in the earlier chapter how to do this. What are the factors of 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Next, we need to list the factors of 16. Factors of 16. What are the factors of 16? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. The next step is to write down the common factors. Common factors. What are the common factors? I'm going to circle the common factors. 1 is a common factor, 2 is a common factor, 3 is not a common factor because 3 is not a factor of 16, 4 is a common factor, 8 is a common factor, that's it. So let's write down the common factors. Common factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Therefore, HCF, the highest common factor is, which is the highest common factor here? It is 8. So the highest common factor is 8. There you go. That is how you can find the HCF of given numbers using factor method. Let's go to the next method. It's a prime factor method. This method is commonly used for small numbers. Let's take an example. How do we find HCF? of 16, 18, 20. As the name suggests, we need to find the prime factors of these numbers. Let's start with the prime factors of 16. 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2. Prime factors of 18. 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1, 2. Prime factors of 20, 2 tens are, 2 fives are, 5 ones are. Now let's list these prime factors. Prime, I'm writing prime factors as PF. Prime factors of 16 are 
1 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. And the prime factors of 18 are 1 into 3 into 3 into 2. The prime factors of 20 are 1 into 5 into 2 into 2. This is how you list the prime, prime factors of the given numbers. The next step is to write the common prime factors. Common prime factors are, let's look at the common prime factors. We have 1 in all the 3. What are the other common factors? We have 2. That's right. Any other common prime factor? No. So the common prime, prime factors are 1 and 2. Therefore, the highest common factor or HCF is 1 into 2, the product of the common prime factors. 1 into 2 is 2. 2 is the answer. 2 is your answer. This is how you find HCF using prime factor method. Now let's go to the third method. Long division method. The prime factor method was used is used commonly for small numbers. The long division method is commonly used for large numbers. Let's take an example. How do you find HCF of 20 and 24? The first thing is to divide the larger number by the smaller number. So the larger number is your dividend and your smaller number is your divisor. Let's do that. Twenty ones are twenty minus four. The second step we are going to do is to bring divisor here. So the divisor becomes the dividend here and the remainder becomes the next divisor. So you bring 20 all the way here and then you divide this 20 by 4. 4 fives are 20. The remainder is 0. This step of bringing the divisor here is continued till we get 0 as a remainder. When you get 0 as a remainder, the last divisor, which is 4, is your highest common factor. So what is the last divisor here? The last divisor is 4. Therefore, HCF is 4. Let's take another example. Let's find the HCF of three numbers using this method. HCF of 185, 407 and 333. Remember, we are finding the HCF using the long division method. Step one is to take any two numbers. So we are going to take 185 and 407. Remember, the we are dividing the bigger number with the smaller number. So 185 goes two times, 370. If you, do my, if you remove that, this becomes 37. Now, we need to bring this 185 all the way here. Remember that step, 185. 37 goes five times. 
On 85 is divisible by 37. That's why the remainder is 0. Remember, we have taken only two numbers. Now the step 2, we take this 37 and divide it with the third number, 333. So 333 is divided by 37. Let's see. 37 goes 9 times. 37 9 times. 9 are is 333. 0. We get the remainder 0. Therefore, HCF, highest common factor of 185, 407 and 333 is, what is the HCF? Let's say it. 37. That's how you're able to find HCF using this method. Now let's look at finding the LCM or the lowest common multiple. Some people say it as least common multiple. Let's do that. LCM. To find the lowest common multiple, we have three methods. First method is the listing method. The second method is the prime factor method. And the third method is the division method. Three methods for you to find the LCM. Let's start with the first method, listing method. Listing method. How do you find LCM using the listing method. Let's take an example. Find the LCM of 864. What we have to do is to list the multiples of 8, 6 and 4. Let's list the multiples. Multiples of 8. Tell me the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 and so on. Remember, you can have infinite multiples. What about the multiples of 6? 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. What about the multiples of 4? Because 4 is your third number. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 and so on. The next step is to write down the common multiples. What are the common multiples? Common multiples. Common multiples are. Let's circle the common multiples first. What are the common multiples? We have 24, 24, 24. That's right. We also have 48. That's right. You know why there is 48 is a common multiple? Because if you write the multiples of 6, you get, if you go further, you can get 36. 42, 48, so on. And if you have to write the multiples of 4, you can get after 28, you can get 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, and so on. So you see, 48 is also a common multiple. In fact, since the multiples are infinite, you can get many more common multiples. But right now, let's write the common multiples that we've written. The common multiples are 24, 48 and so on. Therefore, we only need to find the lowest common multiple. LCM will be 24 because it is the lowest number. 
94 is your lowest common multiple. This is how you find LCM by listing method. You have to list the multiples, write the common multiple and then the lowest common multiple will be the lowest number. Let's go to the next method, prime factor method, prime factor method. How can we find LCM using this method? Let's take an example. Find the LCM of 36 and 48. So in this method, we find the LCM by finding the prime factors of 36 and 48. Let's look at the prime factors of 36. 2, 18. 2, 9, 18. 3, 3, 9. 3, 1, 3. Prime factors of 48 are 2 24s are 48, 2 12s, 2 6 are 12, 2 3s are 6, 3 1s are 3. Let's write, so we can write 36 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 1. You can write 48 as we are list writing the prime factors 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 now i'm going to write this in another form we have learned this earlier how do we write this in its exponential form we can write 2 into 2 as 2 to the power of 2 and 3 into 3 as 3 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 2 multiplied 2 times. 3 to the power of 2 is 3 multiplied 2 times. In the same way, we can write this as 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3 to the power of 1. Yeah, and 1. That's it. Now, if you have to do LCM, you need to take all the factors, but you have to look at only the, all the factors has to be, have to be taken, but only the highest power. So let's see, what are the factors that are there? We have one. What is the highest factor, highest power of one? It's one. What about for two? What is the highest power for two? We have four and two, which is the highest power? It's four. So we write it as two to the power of 4. Remember, we are taking all the factors but only their highest powers. So we are done with factor 1, we are done with factor 2. Now let's look at factor 3. When you look at factor 3, what is the highest power? 3 to the power of 2 or 3 square. So we write that down. That's it. We don't have any other factors. We've done 1, 2 and 3. Now let's just multiply. 1 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. If you do the multiplication, you will find this as 16 into 9 into 1. And the answer is 144. That is your LCM. This is how you can find LCM using your prime factor method. So when two numbers are given, you, f you list the prime factors of both the numbers. You list it down, write it in its exponential form and then the LCM becomes the product of all the factors but only the highest powers. You take all the factors but take only the highest powers of those factors. That becomes your LCM. Now let's go to method 3, division method. Division method. This is the method commonly used to find LCM. So let's take an example. Find the LCM of three numbers that is 40, 72 and 96. Let's find the LCM using the division method. We find the LCM by finding the prime factors of all the numbers simultaneously. I'll show you how to do that. Let's take all the numbers simultaneously and find the prime factors. So we start with 2. 
220 is a 236 is a 72 248 is a 96 2 10 is a 20 2 18 is a 224 is a 2 5 is a 2 9 is a 2 12 is a 2 here you see 5 is not divisible by 2 so you need to bring 5 down as it is the same with 9 if a number is not divisible by 2 you just have to bring it down 2 12 is divisible by 2 so we write it as 6 2 6 are 12 2 again we bring 5 down as it is because it is not divisible by 2 same with 9 2 3 is a 6 if you look at all the numbers now we can use 3 we bring 5 as it is 3 3 is a 9 3 1 is a 3 now we, let's see 3 we bring 5 as it is 3 1 is a 3 and 1 the last prime factor should be 5 1 is a 5 1 1 this kind of division is done till you get 1 as your remainder now you have to find the LCM. The way you find the LCM is just by multiplying all the factors. Let's see, let's go up and see all the factors. We'll, we have 1, 2, 2, twos, 3, twos, 4, twos, 5, twos. Let's write with 5, twos. First LCM is 1, 2, 3, four five five twos and then we have one two threes one two threes and then we have one five and one this is your lcm you just need to multiply it if you multiply it you'll get it as 32 into 45 therefore your lcm is one four four zero this is how you can find the LCM of three numbers by division method. In division method, you have to find the prime factors of all the numbers given simultaneously. If three numbers are given, you do three, you find the prime factors of three numbers. If two numbers are given, you find the prime factors of two numbers simultaneously. And then after that, you multiply all the factors and the answer becomes your LCM. So, you learned how to find HCF and LCM. We have three methods to find HCF and three methods to find LCM. There is another property that is interesting. If you take two numbers and multiply those two numbers, the answer that you get is the same as when you multiply their HCF and LCM. In other words, the product of two numbers is equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. Let me show you an example. Let's take two numbers, 15 and 25. The HCF of 15 and 25 is 5. The LCM of 15 and 25 is 75 therefore the product of HCF and LCM is 5 into 75 which is 375 now let's just do the product of the given numbers 15 and 25 that is 15 into 25 is still 375 so you see the product of their hcf and lcm is the same as the product of the two numbers so we can say that therefore product of two numbers is equal to the product 
of their HCF and LCM. I hope you learnt how to find HCF and LCM using different methods. You can find this chapter in your textbook from page numbers 80 to 87. I suggest that you go through the lesson and answer the many questions given there. It will help you get better at what you have learnt. See you soon.